Hey, welcome back. I'm still Cosmo Dad, and we are still talking about Lightner. First of all, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. You know the drill, and I just want to thank you so much. I just recently got monetized, and it's because of everybody watching the videos, and I think it's amazing, and now I can make those sweet, sweet YouTube pennies. But hey, share. Maybe it'll become dollars. <laughs> anyway, the question. Some of my most popular videos on my channel are my haircutting videos. I did a small series on the shag, the shorter shag, easy ways to cut them, and I want to do some more haircut tutorials. I was thinking something along the lines of a shorter haircut, like a pixie, maybe even a razor pixie. But I want to put it to, to you, the viewers, and ask you, what haircuts would you like tutorials on? Just leave a comment below, and I will take that into consideration and have some new haircutting videos up in about a month or so. Just leave me those comments. Thank you. Today we're going to be doing some math. As promised, I'm going to talk about mixing ratio with your lighteners. Something I encounter a lot with professional stylists is they do not measure or weigh their lightener as they're going. They mix to consistency. Things like different batches of developer, uh, the humidity in the air, if the lid has ever been left off of the lightener, all those things matter and they can change the consistency of your product. So the consistency isn't always a good indicator of how strong your lightener is. One of the best indicators is your mixing ratio. For instance, most lighteners are labeled for a mixing ratio of somewhere between 1 to 1 to 1 to 2 or 1 to 2.5, which means if I have 30 grams of lightener, I might add 30 or 60 or 75 milliliters of my developer. Now, why would I do that? One, consistency, but there's also something else I want to talk to you today about, and that's effective working volume. What volume of developer are you actually working with once you mix up your lightener? So this is very related to one of my first videos. Hold on while I reset, because I'm about to check the video I showed you last week. <laughs> things may move after the next cut. I told you things were going to move. So effective working volume. This goes back to one of my most viewed videos on this page, one of the first ones that I put out. What happens if I run out of 20 volume? We know that we can dilute developer with other developers or even water if necessary to manipulate the amount of oxygen present in the developer. For instance, if I had a 20 volume developer and I wanted 10 volume, my formula calls for 10 volume, I can add half water, half 20 volume, and that will bring my oxygen concentration down to 3% or 10 volume. It's pretty simple math. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Maybe after you finish watching this one, or maybe come back to this one. I'll put the link in the description too. If we take the mathematical principles in that video, we can talk about effective working volume or what volume developer is in your bowl. Anything that you add to developer in a normal situation is not going to be an oxygen donor. It's not bringing more oxygen to the party. So it's only going to remove oxygen from the equation. That, which means my lightener in that math equation is essentially zero volume. There's no oxygen in my lightener. So if I mix one part lightener and one part 20 volume, mix it up in the bowl, now I have 10 volume. Does that make sense? In the same way that I could add an equal amount of water to my 20 volume to make it 10 volume, when I mix up my lightener with my 20 volume in equal parts, 10 volume. That is effective working volume. That means when you mix up 40 volume with your lightener, not to say that it's any less effective, it's just as effective as it's always been. You know that one part 40 volume and one part lightener in the bowl is an effective working volume of 20. So how does this affect our mixing ratios of our lighteners? Let's make the math really easy on ourselves. And let's say we mixed up our lightener 3 to 1. That means, according to the math to figure out your volume dilution, I would add 1 part, 2 part, 3 parts, 20 volume, plus 1 part, 0 making it 60, divided by the number of parts. That means I just went from 10 volume in the bowl to 15 volume in the bowl, just by changing the ratio, which means there is just as much oxygen, get this, there is just as much oxygen in your lightener mixture if you mixed one part 30 volume, one part lightener, or three parts 20 volume, one part lightener, would have the same amount of oxygen in the system. So a lot of people are using maybe a stronger or weaker developer than they think that they are 
because they're mixing a heavy or light ratio or they're mixing to consistency. You can see how that could lead to some unpredictable results. So that's really the long and short of it. There's not much more to say about it. You can do the math. You can check out my other video to see how to do the math. But just remember, just because you're mixing a certain developer doesn't mean that that's what you have in the bowl. And the ratio that you mix developer to lightener will change the volume in the bowl as well. Effective working volume is different than the volume in the bottle. And that's something that's very important to pay attention to as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.